Hi, I'm Martin Gettings. I'm reporting from the Total Telecom Regulatory Summit 2012. I'm here with Johannes Bauer. He is Professor of Telecoms at Michigan State University. So, Johannes, uh, you've just given a presentation to the, the conference. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yes, we studied how regulation affects innovation in telecommunications and in services and applications using telecommunications. And um, what's your kind of your view on, on the state of regulation in Europe at the moment? It's actually quite interesting. I think inadvertently European regulators, with the best of all intentions, have put into place a system of regulation that is too dense, as we call it. There are too many regulations, too many aspects of telecom operators, but also users are regulated. And as a result, innovators cannot experiment as much as they would like to, and inadvertently the innovation rate overall is reduced. So do you think there are examples from the States uh, or elsewhere in the, uh, around the world which uh, the European regulators could learn from? It's always difficult to really learn or imitate what others do, but if you emulate, if you try to take best practices from others, yes. And uh, in terms of an entrepreneurial environment, the United States is one of those countries where regulation is not as dense as in Europe. And we see many, many more experiments, uh, not only in telecommunications, but also in all those sectors that use telecommunications, computing applications, mobile applications, and so forth. So is it too simple to say there's too much regulation in Europe? It, it is, in a sense, it is correct. Uh, I think regulation could be simplified and it should be narrowed. So if regulators had a choice and they wanted to increase innovation in telecommunications but also in sectors using telecommunications, I think they should think about ways to regulate that are less intrusive. So whenever there's a choice between more or less intrusive regulation, go for the less intrusive one. If there's a choice to eliminate in case of doubt rather than keep a regulation in place, I would say eliminate. Overall, that would certainly boost innovation. And so, uh, how is the regulatory framework different uh, in the States as compared with Europe? For example, there's no broadband unbundling in the United States. Uh, carriers agree uh, on, the, on the private market negotiation with each other. There are fewer regulations governing, um, for example, the relationship between networks and, uh, and uh, service providers. We calculated actually an index in, as a part of this project. The Swiss team, uh, led by Polynomics, a consulting firm calculated an index and calculated the regulatory density index and it's very visible that the United States has a much lower regulatory density than Europe for example or even Asian countries. Great and, and finally are there any key topics that you've seen raised at this conference uh, that you found of particular interest? I think it's really interesting how regulators in Europe have become increasingly sensitive to the issue of investment into next generation networks and innovation and they're struggling to come up with frameworks that really solve these issues. Now the interesting thing is that when they think about solutions, they fall back to old models that were appropriate at a time when we had monopoly regulation or very limited competition and certainly we did not have the internet as widely available as it currently is. And so they're sort of at loss when it comes to having the right tools to address those current issues. And it's interesting to see though how gradually regulators and industry managers think about innovation more directly, which is very important. Great, well thanks for finding the time to talk to us today.